Good afternoon. Welcome. It's Jilly Q from Sunshine Coast here in Queensland, Australia. Um, coming to you with another Dutch pour type. It might be a, a kiss and a blow. So a bit of the Aussie, Aussie style in there too. Just trying to move everything because I know when I'm blowing with my hairdryer, things do get messy. Uh, we all we all in there okay so i hope i find you all well on this fine day here in australia hoping you guys are having the same kind of day weather wise and i hope that you're all going really well i'm using up some of my primary element pigments that i'd mixed up for another pour and i've just got some left so i thought why not put them thin them down and put them in a um, yeah a Dutch Dutch pour so I'm just sort of thinning them enough so they'll blow around um, giving them a bit of yeah just just a little bit of h2o I'll show you the colors as we go along I'm going to do a split color canvas I have some uh, phalo blue already made up and I hope it's watery enough. I will just have one little quick check. Giving it a good shake earlier on. So, uh, it's, yeah, it seems okay. Seems okay. So I'll just see if that blows where I want it to blow. Whoops, it's too blowy. Oops. my blue I won't worry too much about the edges in this point in time I will just coat my canvas the white probably could do with thinning down a bit also but we'll give it a try now you can obviously um, push this around with your fingers you can push it around with a spatula whatever floats your boat that's a little bit thick so, so that's a little bit thick so all I'm going to do is add some water to it it's a bit thick for a Dutch pour Dutch pour Aussie kiss Akka blow and kiss I might just quickly spread that around what I've got on there with my spatula I want more white than blue. Um, I'm certainly not one for exact uh, central things and exact measurements. As you know, if you do follow my ah channel, <laughs> I like things off center. I like things, yeah, I'm not, not um, one for everything to be perfect uh, and equal. I like it to be a bit a bit off center a bit like me a bit off center okay that should be plenty to blow around if not I can always add some more so I'm just really hoping this because I've made the pigments up that um yeah that it's ooh, that they're really bright and vibrant as you do get with pigments are always um, really intense, intense, okie doke. I'm gonna put, I'll have to get the actual colors out to find out what colors these were. Actually, this one was not the pigment. This one was the um, Montmartre, oh, 
I'll have to I'll have to look that one. I think it was the crimson added with something, but I will recheck it. Oh, now that is probably way too watery. <laughs> That's really watery. Oh, silly sausage. That's really watery. Look at the fragmentation. I should take a photograph of that. That's brill. It's brilliant. All oh, this beautiful green. It's got sparkles in it. Oh my gosh. No, look at that. Look at this in the paint. Oh, I can take, I'll show you what you can do with that. You can take photos of it to have prints made up. So, cool. Had this kind of champagne colour. Sparkly. So I'll probably add more of this to this side because I'd like that lighter colour to blow up over the blue paint. Oh, I suppose I'll add a bit on this side too. But that, oh my goodness! Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see if it just, it's a happy accident. Let's see if it fragments like these two have, look. Look at these, now I'm, I'm not too worried now I've seen this happening, I want to see, I want to see what happens with it. Where's the green? Where's the green? Let's see if that goes too. It went up here, why is that happened there and not there? Oh no, it's fragmenting, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at all this. Wow. That's interesting, isn't it? Oh, I have to take photographs of this fragment. It's not happening on the blue. I wonder why. Oh, I know. I know. Let's look at that. That is super duper. I'm going to just show you quickly with my phone what you can do with things that happen in just... This my phone now. Um, Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, let's see if we can get this. If we can. Oh. I need to turn my lights off to get those really good, but that is just beautiful. That's just beautiful off track there. I've just left those a few minutes to see how they came and I've taken photographs of them and they are unbelievable. So that was a definitely a happy ac accident. They've just all gone into these. Oh, they're most gorgeous. I don't want to do anything to it, but I will. So I'm going to push on, push on. That's pretty good. Oh, now I'm forgetting to... Will I add a bit of black or will I not? No. I'll add. <coughs> oh no, I won't add that. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll add a bit of the white. And I'm going to just blow it out. I'm not doing all this bizzo where you put the paint over the other paint, I just want it blown out. over the place but never fear I'll just work with it I'm just gonna scrape this side off 
start again on this side because I don't like that. I actually love that, but I don't like this. So, never fear, I'll just redo it because you can't. Oh. God, I'm getting so excited now. It's just, I'm just like all over the place like a hairy ghost. I really am. No, that's, that's going over that way. Come back. Now really stuffing it up here. Anyway, keep working with it. I'll keep going with it. I'm sure I'm going to get something really nice. That's optimism for you, isn't it? Ooh. Looks like the Northern Lights. Should do a little house on the prairie here. <laughs> In the snow, maybe that's what's going to work. That's a little gubba, get off. These colours are so shimmery. Might just see if I can blow what I've got on there without adding any other colours. If not, I'm just going to scrape it. Gosh, gosh. Smell something burning. What's going on? My dryer it smells a bit burning. Now, what can I do with this? What can I do with it? I don't like it. Okay, I'm just gonna push it, push it now. I'm gonna push it, push it, put all the colors back down the center again. Might as well, I don't like it. So I will work with it, with what I've got. I'm just gonna use up all my colors and tilt them off. Oops, oops. Got so excited about those fracturizing in there, which I love and I'm gonna get prints of. Put on some Christmas cards because it's very, um, looks like snowflakes and things, so why not, hey? You think I'm completely crazy, you would be right. Ah, it's the last of them. This last one. I have got some dark colors here, but very reluctant to put any. I just might put a little sprinkle in. about it go away go away let's see what I'll get with this put some white down my swipey color I'm gonna just use a sheet I've stuffed it up so I'm um, gonna work with it and like from what you all say you like to see when I um, don't get things right because it shows you that Oh, look at that. Oh, my word. Um, which shows you what you can do when you get in a pickle. And that it doesn't matter how long you've been doing this, we can all, you know, make mistakes. And all the top artists that you're watching and pourers do, it's just that not many of them show it. So, and we all need to see mistakes because then we don't feel so bad 
when we make them ourselves. So there you go. These are my big bloopers. This is a blooper. I'm showing me blooper. <laughs> oh, that sounds rude. I'm not showing me blooper. Bloopers. Okay. I love the absolute intensity of the pigments. Just so bright and vibrant. I did a right mess. Oh, jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. What are you doing? Go, 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 girl. Oh, it's definitely a rainbow swipe, isn't it? Definitely a rainbow swipe. Oh, I love the colours. Just made a big mess though. <laughs> Okie doke. Let's get that out of the way. The colours are just gorgeous. I've got paint everywhere. I forgot to put my gloves back on. See what I can do with the balloon. This might be an absolute dodder. But I'm just going to keep pushing it to see what I get. Maybe a roll. Maybe a slide. Cotton candy slides. There you go. Up there. Cotton candy slide there. They kind of look like waves. I'll turn it around for you so you can see if it looks like waves in the ocean. Going completely crazy, but you know. It's fun. I love it. Give it a try. Don't knock it until you've tried it because it is so good. Even doing things wrong. Look at that. I actually love it. Look at that. Wow. It does look like sort of the northern lights in a stormy sea, if you can see it at all. Wow. All right, I'm going to leave that one. But, um... It was fun. I made lots of mistakes and probably the very best part of it is my fractures that I got out of it. So I will definitely show you the photos of my fracture, fracturization -y bits. But that's quite, that's quite fine. Look how 3D it looks. It's certainly got a lot of depth to it. Thank you guys for joining me. Please subscribe to my The Crazy Balloon Lady from Australia. Originally from Birmingham in the United Kingdom over 35 years ago, so some people say you haven't got a true Aussie accent, which no, I haven't. I've still got my Brummy accent um, and I never want to lose that. That's where I was born. My family still live there, but of course Australia is my home and I love Australia too. So there you go. Until tomorrow, a video out every day. Hopefully it won't be a crazy one like this. But until tomorrow, bye for now. Stay safe.